hey guys what's up everyone welcome back to another rap review lesson from the apb training channel my name is apex lenny your voiceover commentator of course i am the player that you're seeing there on the screen that just won that rack and of course uh, in today's rack review video we are going to be looking at our third in the series of rack analysis videos where we use well i use these videos to of course highlight talented players that are here in my country of course we use these videos to uh look at the thought process of amateur players semi amateur players and of course semi pro players that are here in my country talented players with experience and of course rising players who has a knack for the game and who is definitely in the making to become better players of course as mentioned to you before that it is in no way shape or form to highlight the incompetence mistakes or errors that are made by these players but it is in fact for us to use the knowledge gained from past experiences to add some value to our game to become better players so of course during this rack i'm going to be analyzing yet another video between myself and a talented young man uh, in the game of pocket billiards and we're going to be seeing what we can learn from the rack and the well from the rack that is played and of course how much value we can get we can look at mistakes made what went wrong what went right and of course we can add this to our game to become better players so of course if this is the first time here on the channel consider smashing that red subscribe button below leaving me a like of course chat with me down in the comment section and do not forget to share this out to your pool communities friends and family where you can watch this learn adapt adjust and become better players all right so let's jump right into the rack and already you can see yet another explosive break yes an explosive but unsuccessful break by apex lenio which has given his opponent the first opportunity opportunity to strike pardon me guys so of course uh without a shadow of a doubt once you're playing the game of eight ball nine ball or ten ball it is of course the best advantage regardless of how the rack is looking to get the first strike at the table and the player that you're seeing here on the screen is probably one of the most methodical player at his level that i've ever seen this guy he does not play a shot unless he knows exactly what the cue ball is going to do where he wants the cue ball and of course where um uh unless he's going to execute the intent and purpose that he has in his mind of course due to his level he will make the odd mistake here then uh here here and now but of course it is it is within his ability here to defeat me at many because uh, we have had many battles and he has defeated me on a few occasions so of course he's no way in shape or form afraid of me to so so to speak but it, of course he's playing with an experienced player so he has to be very careful with his decision that he is making so already he has gotten himself into a little bit of a butter here of course it is not ideal he's landed a little bit nasty behind the one of my obstacle ball here and now he does not have a offensive shot here so let's have a look at what he decides to do i think he was trying to squeeze that cue ball between the three and the seven to make contact with the stripe so he has pretty much just given up there a ball in hand uh he's not really given up much of a clear table layout here uh i am on the i believe i am on the solids he's on the stripes I have one ball that is tied up i have a pretty much open table so pretty much all i'm expected to do here is literally just kind of break out that seven which is my attempt here i'm setting this cue ball a bit straight on the set six ball here 
and with really good draw and good Q action here, I should go into the stack here and break out the seven, which is exactly what I did and is exactly what uh, came out. And that was a pretty good shot. But again, guys, you know, eight ball is that kind of game. It's just, it's just that kind of game that requires so much, in my opinion. Sometimes you do a really good breakout and you still do not get an open shot. And like here, I've broken out the seven. It is in the open to some extent, but I do not have a good shot here. I tried to go for that combination on the four or five, but it did not work out. And now Westburn Finley is back at the table. Now, is he back at the table with an offensive shot? I'm not so sure. He cannot see that 15. He's going for the nine ball here, I believe. Or is that the nine? I'm not sure. I think the, the, the video quality is a bit poor, but he's going for that ball that is top side on the right side to that 14. So you can see he's aiming at it. So I guess you guys know what he's going for. And um, I think that he's just kind of just, I think he's going into the direction of the eight. So he has to be careful here. He has to be careful not to knock this eight ball. Okay, so he has catch really the low side of the eight, which is pretty good. Pretty good shot here. He has a shot on the 11. He's in between his shot here. He's in between two of his shots. And he's definitely going for the uh, shot here. So pretty good shot there by Westburn Finley. Um, he's a right-handed player, a little bit awkward, so he's just getting some assistance here from the mechanical bridge and just pretty much just going around nicely here. Just probably trying to get into the open. Pretty good shot here. Um, I'm not sure where all the crowd went, but there was a lot of persons. I mean, at this point, I was, think I was 3 and 0. Oh, so, as mentioned before, I've had, I have many videos on my channel that shows that I can be a real dominant force if they let me go too many times and of course Westburn Finley is very much aware of my skill set so he knows that he has to play very well and with any sort of open table he will really really get the dose so he's playing pretty good so far nicely done here this is pretty pretty good here by Westburn Finley he has gotten himself in a nice position he has a blocker ball on my seven he has the 11 ball into the corner there he's kind of aligning himself where does he want to be and this is what i like about students of the game students of your own game this guy has sat down many many times he has watched a lot of the players around him and he sees the thought process that is expected of the players you must be able, especially in this game of 8-ball here, which is a game that is filled with obstacles, you have to be very, very precise with your position. It's not like 9-ball that requires high level of positional skills, but it requires not only positional skills, but it requires creative thinking and, of course, maneuvering of the cue ball there. But, ooh, that almost missed. I think he grazed off the 5. Not sure if that was the intent, but he got a bit fortunate there, almost scratching in the side. But he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, he's just kind of examining where he really wants to be on that 14. He's thinking about going forward. As you can see, he kind of indicated that he kind of wants to go to the short rail and back out. Um, I personally think, I mean, I watched the video before, so I could almost suggest to you that um, I'm not sure if the angle is there for a stun draw. I think that maybe the ideal shot here would be to stun draw. He has to be careful because speed on the shot is going to be crucial. And uh, unfortunately, him bumping that eight ball really destroyed his positional route on the 14. He needed to avoid that eight ball. And that was really his downfall in this rack here. But he's, he's pretty good. As you can see, he knows that if he does not have a shot, he needs to look for some sort of containment. Um, a lot of persons say, it, oh, you play a safety. I mean, containment, safety, they're more or less the same. Safety is when you're really locked up, you cannot see your object ball. A containment is like, for example, what he has just done here. Um, he's pretty much just kind of blocked me from getting an offensive shot. 
but he's trying to extract an arrow. So I have to pull up the short stick here and I'm hoping just to make contact. I know his 14 ball is behind the 7. So all I have to do is just ensure that that cue ball. Oh, almost. Oh dear. Oh, very, very fortunate there. That cue ball came around. It actually opened up a little area partially for that 14. But that one ball that I actually jumped bank came around to literally be my savior. So literally he's completely blocked off the 14. I mean, in my mind, literally I wanted to prevent him from seeing the 14. This was not my exact intent, but I mean, the poor gods are in my favor. And of course here, uh, I've gotten a bit lucky here in terms of the layout. So he's completely blocked. He had a look to see if maybe he could do some sort of dart jump stroke. I'm not sure if it's ideal. There you can see he's kind of aligning himself to check if it's if it makes sense. If he jumps this though, that would have been an absolutely brilliant shot. But he would still have to get an open shot on the 8. So he's in a bit of a predicament here. And of course, he's the only thing that he can do now is just pretty much pray for a reasonable contact on the 14 and hopefully leave me with a bit of a tough layout to kind of design the out right so he's looking at the two real kick um i guess guys you can just kind of chat with me in the comment section here if you were in this position what would you do how would you approach this it's a really tough situation to be in your opponent can sometimes get a bit lucky like I just did. Certainly, I kind of sold the game out with that jump shot because that cute, that one ball came around, opened up the table. He was about to get a shot on the 14 and it closed the, 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 the avenue for him to make a shot onto the 14. So there, he tried to go for the two rail kick. It did not work out and ooh, dear oh dear oh dear. He literally has opened up the table and at any level guys at any level you're gonna find a lot of the times that your opponent will punish you when you make certain errors so already there you can see um uh decent shot mm, don't think this was the ideal angle that i needed i'm i'm still okay but i am trying to minimize the q movement on the cue ball here so that was pretty good recovery there draw back with a bit of low inside spin um, got myself into a mid zone here i have the six into the side i have the seven into the side but as i mentioned to you in previous uploads and many times i've mentioned to you in my tutorials that the less movement you have on the cue ball is going to be better for you when it comes to running out racks so there you can see all i'm doing now is just pretty much just kind of keeping control of the table wanting to keep minimal movement on the cue ball which is ideal when it comes to eight ball the less the cue ball moves is the better for you and of course when you can find natural positions onto your object ball you're going to find clearly um, that you have more higher percentage for run out so of course um without a shadow of a doubt this rack is pretty much over as mentioned to you in previous uploads guys when you're playing with a strong player it only takes one mistake one error one bad angle one missed shot one mental error to really really end you and of course when i upload these videos as i mentioned to you guys it is not so much to highlight my ability but it is more on the side for you to learn from the player's mistake the great efren batarias said that you can learn from an amateur player what to do and what not to do because sometimes there's some fortuitous results that usually comes out so it's good to watch racks like these all right so in the past couple of uploads guys i hope that you got some value from the video do like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time in more tutorial videos please continue to practice with consistency precision accuracy and control do take care from the apb to the next level.